Hello everyone, my name is John Odom and I am a drum set teacher here at Orlando Fine Arts Academy in Lake Nona. Uh, you might hear one of my fellow uh, music teachers actually playing piano in a practice room next door. Uh, we do have music lessons going on today. Um, today I'm going to actually show you a lesson. Uh, this is an idea that I came up with, um, kind of a hybrid of other grooves and ideas that I've seen other drummers play. Uh, but what I'm titling this is, um, it's a weekend independence workout. So in other words, you're going to work on your weaker hand, but also at the same time, you're gonna work on your limb independence. That's one of the cool things about exercises like this. There are different exercises um, with the drums where we can actually work on maybe two or even possibly three different aspects of drumming. And so we get a lot more benefit out of those type of exercise. Now, obviously, too, nothing wrong with just, say, practicing on a practice pad, just working on your hands, uh, or just maybe, say, working on double bass with your feet. Uh, but when we can get an exercise like this where we can work on multiple things, we actually benefit that much more. And so the way this is counted out, the way this is set up, um, I'm a right-handed drummer, so my weaker hand's my left hand, okay? So the way this works, you should play your bass drum on count one, okay? You're gonna play 16th notes, you can start on the hi-hat. It's gonna go like this. One E and a two. Then you go to the uh, high top. Three E and a two. So the bass drum is just gonna play a simple pattern on beat one, beat three. You just work your way around the drum set with your left hand. Starting on the mid tom now. One E and a two. Four tom. Three E and a four. Back to the high hat. One E and a two. Three E and a four. One E and a two. Three E and a four. So on and so forth, okay? Now you can certainly add symbols if you want to in there, okay? Um, but that's the basic starting pattern for this idea. Okay, so when I came up with this, and one thing that I always recommend to my students is when you come up with a, uh, a groove idea or a fill pattern, right, some type of fill, always, you know, you have what I, the first pattern we discover or come up with, I call that the core pattern. That's the, the first pattern that you know. The next step should be uh, for musicians, okay, for drummers especially, is to take this idea and start looking at the drum set and start thinking, okay, what else can I do with this? How else can I play this? Okay, so what I did was to make it more interesting, to make it more involved, is you can actually start playing quarter notes on the, um, on the right cymbal. Okay, so that would go like this. start playing quarter notes on the right symbol. Okay, now you're, now you're actually playing what is known as a polyrhythm. Polyrhythm means you're playing two or more rhythms, okay? Well, I'm playing quarter notes on the right symbol, and the pattern between the bass drum and the toms, okay, those are 16th notes is what I'm playing there, right? My snare drum on two and four, okay? Incidentally, if you want to go ahead and play the first 16th note, that's fine too. That's what I've been showing my students. Um, but a lot of times I like to leave the first 16th note out, just let the bass drum play on its own, okay? So the best way to, to understand that is when you're playing the right cymbal, when you're playing the quarter notes there, um, your first quarter note is gonna fall on your bass drum, with your bass drum. Your second quarter note is going to fall with the snare. You're not going to play anything with the toms. The toms will be on their own. So that's one way to kind of help with your independence, okay? Of course, now I had to take it to the next step, one step further. I'm going to play eighth notes on the right symbol. Okay, so see this gradually, you know, it gets more difficult as we continue to add in more ideas, right? So now I'm going to play it with eighth notes on the right symbol. 
So you're going to play the 16th notes on the hi-hat and the toms. Still play your bass drum on one and three, snare drum on counts two and four. It's going to go like this. definitely starts to require more thinking okay now I learned this from uh, actually from Steve Smith and from Peter Erskine uh, a lot of times when you're playing a pattern like this that requires independence if at all possible if you can put one limb on automatic pilot meaning if you can put you know my recommend the ride symbol here okay if you can put on automatic pilot not have to think about it concentrate on the bass drum or your right foot and left hand and just let this go it does make this pattern easier to play you really have to pay attention to how the eighth notes are tying in with the 16th notes that you're playing around the drum set okay so definitely you know somewhat difficult to play but with practice um, you know I learned it. it took some time okay but if you if you can just really focus and just take your time with it you can build it up so I had to take it one more step. I said, well, what else can I add to this? Well, I actually added hi-hat with my left foot on quarter notes. Now, hi-hat with the, uh, if you play a hi-hat with your left foot with quarter notes, just like when we played the right symbol with the quarter notes, your hi-hat is going to come in on the bass drum and the snare drum. Okay, that's where it's going to come in. You're not going to play it with any of the toms. So that's going to be played like this. And when, since I'm going to play the hi-hat on the quarter notes, I'm actually going to skip it for now. I'm just going to stick with playing the, the toms before I play the snare with the 16th notes, okay? It's going to go like this. <laughs> this pattern one thing I noticed is I was playing my right symbol way too loud and so to further challenge yourself and, and I'm still working on this okay is to actually be aware of the volume that you're playing everything at okay so there's also along with limb independence with playing drums there's also such a thing called uh, dynamic independence and that's where we have the different the volumes of the different voices where we can actually change those okay so um, I hope you enjoy this video. I think it's a pretty cool workout pattern. Uh, now there are other things you can do with this to add to it. Um, you can play quarter notes on the bass drum if you want. Um, I've actually practiced it to where, um, I'll show you this pattern, where you play eighth notes on the hi-hat with your foot, quarter notes with the right cymbal, okay? Still playing the 16th notes with, between the toms and the snare. It'll be something like this. So that's how you can take one pattern, which started with just the bass drum on one and three, with your 16 notes between the hi-hat, your toms and snare, and then you just branch out from there. So please uh, you know, like my video. Please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will be adding more lessons in the future. And uh, again, my name is John Odom. I'm a drum teacher here in uh, East Orlando, uh, coming to you today from Orlando Fine Arts Academy. Uh, if you're interested in taking lessons, and please contact the school if you live near Lake Milna. Uh, also, I do travel to students' homes within a, a certain uh, radius in Orlando. So please feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching. Happy drumming. Have a great day.